Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Takeaways for episode 118 with Broderick Chavez, the evil genius. Let's get into the takeaway points. Takeaway point number one is that nowadays we're getting the use of finger pricks that you can take at home for testing your blood. So this is things like something I have taken personally, MediChecks, which you can certainly check out, that's available in the UK, where you can get kind of a blood panel and get some results. Now, within the podcast, I questioned Broderick on the efficacy of this versus getting a blood test, say, in an actual doctor's um, facility. And whilst that wouldn't be as effective, the finger prick wouldn't be as um, accurate it is consistent and it is a valid measure as long as you're consistently getting it over time and doing it the same way. So whilst you might, if you want absolute accuracy every single time, want to go and see your doctor in person, taking a finger prick at home is still a valid use of your time and you can keep that consistent and track things over time. Takeaway point number two is when you're getting one of these blood tests, get your CBC, complete blood count. And within there, check your red blood count and your hemoglobin levels to see if they're in reference ranges. Talk to your doctor about this and consult with them and make sure that that's all OK. Takeaway point number three is if you're checking your thyroid levels and your thyroid is something that is very much involved with you for your metabolism, you want to make sure it's OK, check your TSH levels. You want this to be around two. If it's above or below this, then something might be up and you might want to look into this further. Takeaway point number four is all to do with urea. Now, when protein is broken down, urea is there and it is present. If your kidneys are working effectively, it can get rid of this mostly and it can control this to a certain degree. Now, if it's not, then your BUN levels will be elevated and this is something to check out. Now, being that you probably lift weights if you watch this channel and you probably eat a fair amount of protein, your creatinine and your BUN levels are likely to be higher. However, they're higher within the reference range. If they're much above this reference range, then that's something you will want to get checked out by your doctor. Takeaway point number five is that with all of this, there's obviously gonna be different things that are going on. There's so many variables within our life. It depends what phase you're in, if you're cutting, whether you're massing, whether you're doing hypertrophy training, whether you're doing strength training, there's so many variables at play. So the most important thing for you to do is try and keep it as consistent as you can. For example, for myself, I tend to take blood tests every few months and I take them during my deload weeks and when I get them I can note down what phase I'm in what's happening on with my life and so that I know where whereabouts this is in relation to what I'd expect so that's why I'd really recommend you guys do and with everything I've said here obviously consult with your doctor before you're doing any of these tests or you want to get any kind of uh, reference values and you want to talk things through with them it's very very important that you do that so guys our favorite quote from Broderick today was just because you don't do anything to intentionally harm your health doesn't mean there couldn't be something that's potentially wrong there and worth checking so guys just like if you're driving your car around and you're not doing anything to actually cause any problems it's sometimes good to get a service check on it just to make sure everything's running okay just the same with your body not a bad idea to get that done so guys as always, hope you've enjoyed this. Please comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Take a screenshot, share it over on Instagram, give us a tag. We really appreciate it and revive stronger.